so I've got a bit of an issue here. Speaker cable for the rear right door has snapped, so all the others are still working. I'm in the process now of getting to these cables here, but to do that, I need to take this bit of trim off next to the driver's seat, take this bit of kick plate off from the rear, and to gain access to all this, I need to take the rear seat out so it's held on with these clippers, you just pull it from the front and then slide it back towards the rear of the car and it goes over this little T-shaped locking system. Slide it over the buckles and then there's a 10 mil screw here and that undoes this side bolster. So this just slides upwards. Hopefully this gives you a better view. So this is the side bolster, you just put it up and it should just slide up. You might have to move this seat this way a bit and then push it up. It will go eventually, it's just slotted in at the top. So that's that out of the way. I can move that over there. That is the side bolster I just removed. And then it exposes all these wires. So I've got all the RCA and Phono cables, whatever you want to call them. They will go from my head unit right to the back. And then one of these cables is for the front speakers, front speaker, and one of them is for the rear speaker on the right hand side. Notice how I've run the power cable and the remote lead for amp switch on and the ground cable. They're all on the other side of the car. If you run them on the same side as the audio leads, you get a bit of interference. So run them separate. So that's that. So the next step into gaining access to that broken wire is to remove the plastic trim that goes along next to the side bolster. That is just held in with some little metal clips. Don't know if you can see them. They're just there. They just slide off. There's about two, two clips. And then once I've moved that, I can then start moving the kick plate. So I think the main reason why the cable snapped in the first place is because the wire that I ran through was quite tight. There wasn't much slack, so it just snapped, basically, it just pulled itself apart. So what I've done is I've loosened it from the rear. That sounds so wrong. And um, pulled some through to slacken it off. And then that goes up, back through there, and then through the electrical block that I've made bigger by drilling a little hole at the bottom. There were some unused holes in the electrical block. So now I've pulled some extra wire through. I'm just gonna strip the wires back and then do a quick joining of them. I'm not gonna solder it because I haven't got the time. But that's an easy quick fix for me and the speaker will be up and working again. I don't plan on keeping the car much longer but at least the speaker will be working for the next person. Okay. Right, it's a bit of a bodge job but it'll do for now. So I've slackened the wire off ran it through and I used my wire strippers on the 4 mil setting and I'll just strip this wire just speaker cable I think I got it from Wilco or something just like a hardware store in the UK so it looks a bit like that so I've put it all back together so what I did was I stripped it rejoined it just put a bit of uh, electrical tape around it and then slide it all back together all right, so I'm at the range now. I just went there for a little look around, but I've changed the RCAs on the back of the amp to accommodate just a split going into this 3.5mm jack, so that way I can avoid the whole like audio processing system of the head unit, because it's a bit cheap and a bit horrible. So I'm hoping that by having it direct from my phone and then through this cable, it's five meters, all this all the way back to the amp, I can skip out the whole head unit malarkey. And the only thing the head unit's doing now is switching the amp on. So, let's give it a go. Right, so I've decided not to use that auxiliary cable purely because the audio difference wasn't as good as I thought it'd be. I've gone back to using the head unit to control the audio. Uh, benefits of that are I can control the volume skip the songs and see the tracks that are playing more easily. When I had it plugged into the auxiliary cable and straight to my phone, to change the song I was having to reach down and it wasn't very safe, especially if I was just driving along. So I decided to 
go back to using the head unit's audio processing system. And all my speakers are now working good. Nice little easy fix that was. Just quickly like strip the wires back, tangle them back up, use a bit of electrical tape, fix them in place. Um, I know it's not a proper job, but it will do for now. And yeah, so that's about it really. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell button to be notified of upcoming videos. Check out my other videos as well. A lot of them are car audio related. If you've got any ideas of what you would like to see in my next video, then drop it in the comment box and we'll go from there. Cheers.